Hello everyone, uh, I'm Stanisław and thank you Carol for this uh, really nice introduction. My today's topic is law and economics, the two gods of modern society. So before I will start, uh, I will make sure that you all understand what scholars think about this issue. So I will cite a few first chapters and scientific definitions from the book's uh, concept of law and then uh, The Wealth of Nations by Adam Smith so that uh, we all share the same idea of academic terms. That was a joke, so uh, I don't mean... Uh, maybe, maybe I look like a person prone to the recitation of scientific terms However, I know deeply that Baron Schlasko sitting there would probably get a heart attack if I continued this embarrassment because I received very tight instructions not to make you all fall asleep, so I will just... Uh, I had better start. We have uh, law and economics being the two gods determining our reality. So, how did they influence my day up to this moment? I woke up at 6 o'clock 6 a.m. being 6 a.m. only because we have um, international triatizes that um, determine what our time zone is. So, uh, without uh, inter international law, I wouldn't get up at uh, 6 a.m. but um, at any other hour that I wouldn't be able to examine uh, exactly. Uh, then I uh, talked with my mother, which ordered me to do the chores. Which I, forget, which I forgot to do the previous evening. I had to obey her instruction because she is my mother and besides um, ethical and personal um, emotions, she is my parent, she is my uh, legal guard and is allowed to raise me based on her own beliefs. So civil and constitutional law. Then I, uh, I went on a walk with my dog I followed pedestrian zones and uh, stopped on traffic lights because if I had done anything otherwise I would have committed an offence and been appropriately punished. So traffic and uh, criminal law. And then, just before our event uh, started, I had bought a bottle of water for, you, uh, for five zloty. Five zloty, a relatively small amount of money enabled me to become a subject in this whole complex system of financial and property flows. Uh, I influenced um, the income and financial stability both of Zhivyet uh, Struy and its thousands investors uh, and I also affected somehow uh, in, my way, in one way or another uh, the state of economy in our country as well as its budget through the tax I paid. So all those actions I took by just one um, particular action for four or five as well. So you see how ubiquitous these two gods are. And when it comes to my mind that you are now probably mind blown with the facts I just mentioned. Uh, if not, that's not a problem. I um, declare I won't get frustrated. But, uh, because I know that what I've said are obvious, obvious issues, but sometimes it's really nice to understand and realize obvious issues uh, determining our lives. So, when we already know that law and economics are basically everywhere, it would be nice to understand their nature. So, these two powers can be viewed as gods fighting for domination over ordinary citizens like we all. So let's have a look at how uh, law is doing in this fact. The creature of civil law, uh, thousands of pages of um, legal enforcements, happen to be a weapon in this legal world. Because uh, we have innumerable uh, cases about property flows, loans, contracts. Without them, uh, any transaction or contract would be nothing more than a verbal agreement based on trust. Uh, so the global ones would just not happen because how come can you trust a person from another part of the world so much that you can uh, send them your money or uh, send them your goods? It would be just undoable. 
and uh, without law, uh, any property would be dependent on your own ability to protect it. Because nothing else than your own physical or mental strength would uh, confirm that your possession is yours. So you see that the great share of economy we know nowadays is based largely on, uh, on the creation of law. So now you may find law an overtaking power in uh, our modern society. Uh, however, economies of the system of exchanging goods was present uh, in uh, everyday life of uh, our ancestors since the very beginning of humankind. So, and it had to manage somehow without any legal enforcements being written and obeyed like today. So, uh, how could it be? It may seem that law determines the way economy operates. However, provided the law is created in such a way that it prevents normal, ordinary people from making normal trades in a natural way they like, no one would obey such a law and would be just uh, useless to create one. So the law has to be designed so intuitively and wisely that uh, it enables the economy to thrive and uh, exist in its borders. Uh, it can be concluded that the law describes how economy works and how it should work uh, based on the information how it naturally works without any external interruption. I hope it makes uh, any sense for you. So, uh, when we already have um, relatively much, uh, vast knowledge uh, regarding what the law is, what the economy is, uh, when we know what the interdependence of these two powers is, uh, it happens to be all false. It's all made up. Because the most prime question we ought to ask ourselves is do all these things I'm talking about really exist? So I mm, presume and behave as if you all existed because I see you sitting here. Air probably exists because someone really clever experimentally proved the correctness of the state. However, when it comes to the concepts like ethnicity, borders, states, countries, unions, NATO, language, or law and economics, things are getting more complicated because no one could scientifically prove, for example, the criminal composition of a company of Zhivitz. It, it, it's just undoable. So uh, all of these things are just objects created by humans uh, that exist only if we believe they do. The, they are only objects in our common, in our common imagination. So we have our first God, which is law. Mm, so we have a look uh, at how ridiculous mm, our social functioning in terms of uh, in the field of law is. So let's let's uh, imagine a criminal case. Mm. The act of violence is the only thing that was factually done. Is the only object in physical reality because it was done um, uh, factually. Let's presume. And then, even calling this act of violence, this offense, uh, unlawful, illegal, implies that you believe in a border between uh, legal actions and illegal ones implied by law, which is uh, created, uh, fully created by humans. Then, uh, the case is processed before a judge. A random stranger uh, having the whole power of his, uh, of his office behind him only because the lawgiver said so, uh, that can uh, bring, uh, of course, on behalf of the whole majestic state of the Republic of Poland, also being imaginary creature in our common, in, in our common imagination of humankind, this judge can bring death to the charged person, in, uh, of course, in countries that have the uh, penalty. So, based on imaginary law, uh, processing the case before a stranger on behalf of imaginary creature, a person can lose its 
property, adolescence, parental, civil rights, freedom, and even whole life. So I don't mean that the, the, the criminal justice system is useless. Of course, without it, probably chaos and violence and out, 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 out. However, you see how uh, ludicrous the, the whole social functioning of uh, our society is. And then um, we have our second god economy. It differs from law in a way it really exists. Like we really have something like economy. It's uh, but uh, with this uh, with this difference that. It's not, it doesn't look like we all uh, reckon it. So, um, we, people really buy certain goods, delivery factually happens, and people truly work. So, maybe I should imply a few corrections. So, people uh, really buy physical goods, like I today bought a bottle of water but for money that doesn't really exist. Because the uh, banknote of 5 or 10 zloty or 100 zloty is worth its value only if we all believe it is physically, in terms of science, chemi chemistry for example, it's nothing more than a, piece, than a colorful piece of paper. So uh, it turns out uh, even more interestingly, that we all often pay by card. So by money, we tend to believe we have on our online banking accounts. We have them because we all believe that um, bankers give them somewhere. However, unfortunately, they don't. They only have a few percent uh, of it. If all of it's the, the minimum percentage of what they say they have is 10 percent. So. We buy through, uh, we, we, when we buy uh, anything at pay by card, we use money that doesn't really exist and cannot be found <coughs> anywhere. People really work in the companies, but companies also are uh, uh, creatures in our common imagination. They are, all, they are also implied fully by our uh, human imagination, uh, so they are not real. And then, even more interestingly, what we would like to think about economy is not even a factual economy. It's like painting a gut. Experts try their best to determine what the truth is. However, the, we don't know for certain what's the true painting of the state of economy. So, we, there are too many transactions, goods sold, goods uh, produced that aren't recorded in any system, that uh, it can, cannot be said uh, for certain whether uh, what we reckon as economy is a factual thing. Moreover, uh, based on uh, the amount of data, uh, unbelievably huge amount of data, and there are so many of us changing the economy all the time, even the lights now uh, here are also creating, creating economy with uh, each uh, minute spent here, uh, we should pay uh, energetic companies. So the economy changes so rapidly that a person analyzing data can only say what the economy might have been in the past, sometime before the act of analyzing this, uh, the, this base of data. So, you see that politicians make crucial decisions concerning the future of whole nations based on the information about what the economy might have looked like in the past. So now uh, I hope that uh, you will realize during each uh, walk with your dog uh, and uh, each action you take that all these things we reckon as uh, real are uh, in fact only uh, creations of the human mind, of our society, in order to make our lives a lot easier. So, uh, I hope that your knowledge now uh, regarding social functioning got organized uh, somehow. Uh, well, it wasn't really my aim to make it organized. Uh, 
this was uh, not my real goal. Uh, I just wanted to make you realize what the matrix we live in and then leave you helpless with unnecessary concerns I implied to your perfect life, so there's no need to think.